Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. Are you looking for a good antenna for POTA or SOTA activations, or are you stuck behind the enemy lines of an HOA? If so, the MFJ1898 may be just the thing for you. We're going to take a look at it and see how well it tunes up and try and make a couple of contacts right after this. Now, the items that come in the bag, well, this is it. You get the whip, and you get the tuning section. At the time of filming this video, this antenna is going for $149.95. With it, you can get 60 meters, 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6. Now, when it's collapsed and in its two pieces, it's one and a quarter by 11 and a half inches. The amount of power it can handle is 125 watts on SSB. When it's assembled, it's 21 and three quarter inches. And when it's fully extended, it goes to 103 inches. For mounting, it uses a 3 8 by 24 thread connector. They do say you can hook it up to a mag mount base. You have two parts to the antenna. You have the telescopic whip, which connects to the top of the tuning part. Now to tune this, go ahead and make sure this bottom portion here is loosened by turning it to the left. And then you just pull this out and you'll see kind of like a ruler underneath there. And this allows you to tune it. And after a while you'll get to memorize where each band is on this and it'll make it even quicker for the tuning. It's a pretty uh, sensitive tuning. You can feel each individual click so that you can get precise tuning. Okay, so the parts I'm gonna use for this antenna, try and make it work. I've got this plate, which connects to a regular photography tripod. If that doesn't work and it's too high, I have a ground spike I can attach to it. I also have three coils similar to this of different radials that should work on 40 meters, 20 meters, and even 10 meters. Okay, it didn't take me any time at all to get this SWR down to 1.4 for the 20 meter band. I'm in 14.230. I wanna make sure I was inside the section for general class. Try and make a couple of contacts. Hopefully it'll work. Well, I'm definitely getting good signals on 20 meters. However, it's just a little hard for anyone to hear me. Hazards of being in a stucco horseshoe. Well, we weren't able to make a contact in 20 meters, so now we're going to try 40 meters. And again, I wanted to make sure I was in the general license area of 40 meters. Right now, we're putting out a 1.6 SWR. It's 7.1. It's supposed to be 5, but it's bouncing around a little. See if we can't make contact. And I will be doing a video later on on this particular antenna analyzer. Yeah, Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. Trying out a new antenna. Okay, uh, almost out of there. I think uh, Juliet 6 Foxtrot. Give us, give us all kind of feedback. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. Again, Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. I say again, Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. I appreciate the comeback. I'm having a devil of a time. I got a lot of noise on the line. Of course, I'm sitting in surrounded by stucco buildings. Well, very good, Greg. I can hear you a bit, and I can pick out uh, a percentage of the work here and there. We can make it work with a bunch of things. Sure. Uh, again, you can try 80 meters, 80 meters, if you would like. Uh, let me know what frequency you can get that shot and set that up. Copy that. I appreciate it, K6ARK. Have a good one down there in San Diego. All in all, I do like this antenna. It's easy to tune. You just got to make sure you have decent ground radials for it. 
I was able to make one contact with K6ARK down in San Diego. Unfortunately, the problems I was having is not the antenna. It's based on where I live. I'm surrounded by stucco, and every house here probably has two routers in it. really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, why don't you check out one of these other videos? And again, thanks for watching.